All right, we're going to take a look at what is called a sounding. Uh, there's been some really cool stuff that's happened here uh, with the snow across the south, and, and there's been a lot of questions. Why aren't we getting the snow in Alabama, northern Alabama to be exact? So this is a sounding from New Orleans. For those of you who don't know, a sounding, when you let a weather balloon go up at the National Weather Service office, it goes all the way to the top of the troposphere, it pops, and all the way it goes up, it's recording data. It gives us all sorts of stuff. It's a complicated looking chart, but we're, we're, we're focused on this right here, the profile of temperature as well as moisture. So here we go. New Orleans getting a ton of snow here. The LCL, just fancy term for, th th this is where our cloud bases are. This is where our precipitation is forming. And then we look at how much moisture is there. Plenty. All right. So we're saturated. We're below this freezing line, which runs right about here. And so you get snow all the way to the surface, and that's exactly what they're seeing. Okay, so let's go on the flip side now. Let's go to Birmingham. So we look at this, and this was launched this morning. Same thing, weather balloon. Here's our LCL. Notice the moisture, temperature profile, they don't meet, which means we're not saturated, right? So yes, we have some clouds aloft here, and this is you know just about you know, two kilometers, four or 5,000 feet up there. But then look at this whole section of the atmosphere from 3,000 feet really down completely devoid of moisture so what we were seeing this morning was sure snow was up here it was forming at least a little bit and as it fell it all evaporated in this little sector that final 3,000 feet and we get no snow plenty cold enough but no snow similar Atlanta is going to be in the same boat here as the system gets closer you'll notice again here's our LCL again these the, the, the temperature profile the moisture not touching we're not saturated and then boom huge area where there's no moisture and of course the resulting factor is we just don't get the snow so these give us just a ton of information as soon as i saw this this morning i thought there's no way because even if snow were to fall through this profile uh, it's going to evaporate now if we had enough snow eventually the moisture levels in this part of the atmosphere would come up we just don't have enough of it here dry air is thwarting our snow chances in parts of the south so speaking of I mean, look at this i mean just one of the more incredible uh you know radar you'll see here and, and just the, the the amount of heavy snow the records that are going to be set here dothan's record by the way all time two inches for a one day snow total we should be able to beat that easy mobile pensacola gulfport all seeing snow um you know louisiana baton rouge new orleans all the way back to galveston just it, it, the perfect overlap of moisture and cold air so here's what happened in central Alabama this morning, which was very interesting. So here's our view, okay? And what is this depicting? I've turned this to 3D, right? So here's our snow in the mid-levels, okay? It's there, should be falling, right? Let's dive down beneath the snow, beneath the clouds here. What do we have? Okay, there's the snow, there's this dry layer. It does not get to the surface. Now, we did see some flurries very early on, but this dry air is what kept us, what is keeping us from seeing snow here, really in the northern half of the state. So lots to look at when it comes to winter weather. Just so happens the air just a little bit too dry for snow formation today.